What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and we're continuing on with my advanced Balkan Architect course. We're up to part 5 and I'm showing you how to create an office building from basically from scratch. We started with nothing and then we're using Revit to get to complete project documentation, something that's ready for construction. So the idea behind this course is to go step by step, show you the whole workflow, all of the little details, all of the little trouble, uh, troubleshooting, solving all of the little problems that pop up along the way with any project and uh, just solving all of those problems, showing you the whole workflow, uh, how, how it works, how to use Revit and uh, in your approach and how to, well, how to do that everything most efficiently uh, in the quickest possible time and to make everything look just perfect and be just perfect. Okay, so this course, uh, the part five, where uh, part five basically means hour five, I'm doing one hour each week. It's available on my Patreon, first a link in the description of this video, check it out. If you sign up there, you'll get access to all the previous parts, so all five hours of this course so far, and whenever I upload, or next week, and whenever I upload next parts of this course, you will, of course, get access to that as well, as well as all of my other courses. I've got like 30 advanced courses so far, so that's over over 30 hours of content up there. Okay, so uh, so let's now get into the project and let me show you what we cover in this week's course. So uh, here, let's switch to my computer and as you can see over here, this is the building. It's taking shape now. This week we didn't really do much of the like rough modeling. I think that's pretty much already done. We're going in a, a little bit of detail. So if I orbit around here, here we have this structural core that's made out of concrete, as you can see here in the floor plan. That's this over here. So this is the only concrete walls that we have on our building. The rest of it is just the beam, uh, is just beams, columns, and curtain walls. So here we have these concrete walls, and they have a cover which is some sort of an aluminum panel facade. So I show you how to create that with, uh, that aluminum paneling. Uh, effect on your facade by using some reveals and uh, I show you all of the correct ways you implement them when you create new profile families and I also show you how to align it just perfectly with the mullions. So as you can see the curtain grid uh, continues on here as well uh, on this wall so everything looks nice. So as you can see all of these lines are continuing on and the vertical line pattern continues on as well. Same thing on this side. So that's what we do here for the facade and everything just looks perfect even in here if I go in the first floor if we zoom in as you can see here we have that separation between those panels and everything uh, is ju just looks uh, well correct. Okay moving on I show you how to basically set up the visual styles a little bit so as you can see here furniture is kind of uh, grayed out or it's in a lighter color. Now I show you all of the approaches and basically uh, every possible way how can you approach this so uh, you you know in which case you use which command and how to change maybe some of the vis visibility settings for a particular view or how to change it for a complete project, how to change it for just one category or for multiple categories, things like that and how to maybe even change categories if necessary to uh, kind of aid in that. So there we go. So we've changed that visual style and then it was time to get into detailing. So for example, this separation wall here between offices, first of all, I show you how to create this type of a connection. So usually walls kind of flow into each other. And here I show you how to do a correct separation. Usually you will have a complete wall here and then this wall would kind of come on and attach to that. So this, these are gypsum, wa uh, gypsum wallboard walls and inside we have just some sort of sound in that thing but we have to have some sort of a construction element and I added that in form of these uh, profiles. So these are these structural profiles that are kind of holding the whole uh, wall construction in place. So I show you how to create that element and how to create that uh, repeating detail element that goes along the whole wall. Also here we have a separate profile so I show you how to create the profiles to type of profiles, the profiles that's just one profile like this and also a repeating profile like this. As you can see you can kind of create it and it immediately adds profiles whenever necessary for construction. In this case it's set up whenever the profile is longer, whenever you have more than 50 centimeters between profiles Revit immediately adds one more profile in so you will have the correct construction. 
So I show you how to do that. And then also here speaking about profiles, as you can see the Malians look a bit different. So Malians have now detailed profiles. Now of course this is kind of a basic profile that I modeled just during this uh, during this course. But uh, what you would do is you would go to your uh, your Malian manufacturer or whoever is going to do the construction of the curtain wall, and then you would ask for their profile. And I just show you how to insert that in Revit and how to uh, kind of place it here so all of your Malians look really professional and there we go also I show you here how to play around with wall joins so here uh, it was a bit messed up so I showed you how to kind of fix everything up so all of the layers are now in a correct order also we've added the insulation batting line things like that and as you can see here all of the walls are fixed and adjusted here I show you how to make this kind of a uh, angled uh, we have this angled adjustment here things like that so basically I go, I go over all of the detailing that uh, needs to be done as far as the model is concerned so we can get everything ready for annotation, annotating, dimensioning, things like that. Okay, so that's pretty much it what this uh, fifth hour of this course covers uh, uh, on, on the topic of this office building. So if you want to check it out, again, as I said, first a link in the description of this video takes you to my Patreon. You just sign up there and you can get access to all of these courses as well as all of the project files so you'll get all of the custom families that I create for this project and uh, and pretty much all of the families that I use and also pretty much all of my projects. I have like over 300 projects and families uh, uploaded there already. Okay, so that's pretty much it and I'll be back with my regular Balkan Arctic tutorial for this channel in a few days. Uh, thank you for watching and have a nice day.